is it for both men and women? There's details of this, of course, and the ulama, they mentioned it. <coughs> uh, of course, also the maharam, yes. But can a man give salam to a, a strange woman? Or a group of women? Or the opposite? Uh, the, the thing that governs this is anything that leads to fitna or any sins that might or might not happen, then this is something to be avoided completely. So that's why they would, for example, they say if uh, in some situations where a big alim, for example, and group of women are passing and they said salam and he's old in age and they said salam, no harm. Uh, there's no fitna in there. But a young man and a young woman saying salam to each other, even if it's in the store. Shaitan has his, his way of doing things. Oh, why did she, how did she reply the salam? Oh, mashallah, that means she uh, maybe uh, likes me or whatever. You know, so this is something to be avoided. Whenever there's any signs of fitna, is to avoid the salam. If there's no signs of fitna, in principle, it's, uh, it's something that is permissible. Sometimes it's uh, for the person not to be scared. In situations where, for example, if a, uh, I'm just making up something. If a woman, for example, in a place where she's, you know, uh, worried about something and someone passes by and says salam so that she would uh, be in state of comfort. There's no harm in this, inshallah ta'ala. But in general, to avoid the fitna, this is what is meant by this, inshallah.